CSE 68-73.38 up 44-41 and CSE 44-21 but 87 up 43-54. In the Asian markets here, Nikkei 15-720.35 up 59 and 3 quarters. Shanghai 22.83 up 22.58. HSI 25-317.95 up 5.68. Point ninety three. Oil markets ninety five point thirteen up two and a quarter. Brent one hundred two point thirty nine up two point oh five and natural gas three point eight five two down three eight thousand seven point here. In the gold markets here, twelve thirty point ten up five point one oh, silver nineteen point twenty up four eight thousand seven point. Copper three point one three oh five down two forty five thousand seven point here. In the bonds here unchanged in the US ten year yield, Germany ten year yield, nine point three two percent unchanged. And Germany's ten year yield five one three percent up three thousand dollar point. And in the FX here, European US dollar one point three one four nine down one thousand dollar point. US dollar Germany's yen one zero four point seven eight down one hundred dollar point. And Great Britain pound US dollar one point six four six down one thousand dollar point. Take a look at our sports section here on this Wednesday afternoon here. Yeah, Katerina Makarov reached her first Grand Slam semifinal, beating Victoria Azarenka in straight sets Monday at the US Open. The new NFL season kicks off Thursday night with the Green Bay Packers is in a defending Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks followed by a full slate of games Sunday and Monday night. Denver Broncos wide receiver Cody Latimer could get a chance for extended playing time, especially if he builds a rapper with quarterback Peyton Manning. And take a look at this afternoon's baseball scores. Bottom of the third, Seattle and Oakland, no score. Bottom of the fourth, San Francisco Carver, 1-1 one, one apiece, bottom of the fourth in Denver. Washington Nationals, Los Angeles Dodgers, no score. Through four in LA and through eight, no score between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Pittsburgh Pirates in St. Louis and Atlanta Braves defeat the Philadelphia Phillies 7 4. Tonight, the Red Sox will square off against the New York Yankees and the New England Rebels will be at Gillette Stadium and take on Sporting Kansas City. Peter Chell News on 508 Town after Trevor Board here and take a look at the Southeast Expressway backed up from the pipe all the way down to the split here doing an accident on. Sephi's Expressway on the southbound side up through past Mass Pike, so try to step the in that area. But otherwise, two pretty old tunnel, bump 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 both ends, 93 Northbound, slow from the Zaken Bridge all the way down to Bedford, Route 1 North, slow around Route 16 in Revere, Mass Pike Road westbound side, slow from the Austin Brenton Tolls all the way out to Natick here, and 128 on the northbound side, also from Burlington all the way up into Route 1 in Peabody here. And Route 3 on the northbound side of Little Soul from 62 in Burlington up into Bill Ricker here. And we got 128 southbound on Little Soul from the Pike all the way down through doing an accident on 93 North 128 southbound near the Punk Park, Park exit in Canton here. So trust the XFM as it's back to the northbound side from Canton all the way out to Western Route 129 on the southbound side here. And 93 northbound on Little Soul from 45 and lots all the way to 130 to Lawrence. But otherwise, you're good to go from. Redding all the way down to the New Hampshire border, 95 mile fine for Peabody up in the Ames Barrier and Route 120 off a little slow around Peabody stretch here. And 495 on the northbound side, a little slow from Route 3 and low all the way out to 133 Tewksbury and Route 495 northbound side, a little slow from Route 140 to over to exit 44 in Lawrence there. And 290 on the southbound side, a little slow from 190 Worcester to downtown Worcester near Route 122 here. 95 24 mile 5 for 120 to the Redown border and 24 a little slow around 495 in Raynham here. And 28 northbound on the Bourne Bridge Rotary a little slow, but otherwise you're good to go from Buzz Bay down to Falmouth. 28 northbound a little slow on Falmouth. Route 6 mile 5 from both sides from Sagborn down to Orleans here. And take a look at Providence Outlook 1. 957 a little so from 126 down to downtown Providence. 95 northbound a little so around the downtown Providence and Adwells Avenue to 195. 195 eastbound slow for 95 down to the East Providence Bridge. 610 vector slow on both ends from Route 6 down to 95. 295 stop at a little so around Johnson Stretch. And 146 a little so around from 99 coming into the Sales Hills Road. And 295 on northbound side a little so from 37 down to Route 12 in Cranston here. Our 130 on the westbound side, a little slow. You approach Route 1 North King Sound and Route 4 North Little from North King Sound and Reynolds to an Exeter. Take a look out. What our outlook here on this 
Wednesday afternoon here. Our temperature here in North Massachusetts is at 5 o'clock, 84 degrees on temperature with fair skies, humidity of 34%, which being available about 3 miles per barometer, 20 by 97 inches, dew point about 53 degrees of visibility of 10 miles, and heat index 82 degrees. There. Okay, let's take a look at our current conditions around the region here. 82 degrees on temperature right now in Boston. It's 82 in Fitchburg, 80 in Garner, 81 in Excuse me, Bedford 79, Beverly 76 in Gloucester. Take a look, it's 76 out in Worcester, it's 82 out in Norwood, 83 in Taunton, 82 in New Bedford, 81 in Plymouth, 81 in Falmouth, 80 in Chatham, 79 in Prozine, 72 in Cape Cod Bay, 80 in Martha's Vineyard, 77 in Nantucket. 79 in Block 9 in West Street, 82 in Providence, 80 out in Montauk, 83 in Islip, 84 in New York City, 76 in Los Angeles, 85 in Bridgeport, 82 in New Haven, 81 in Denbury, 79 in Waterbury, 83 in Meriden, 83 in Hartford and Windsor Locks, Connecticut, 82 out in Springfield, 81 in Amherst, it's 80 degrees out in Greenfield, it's 75 in Pittsfield, 78 in North Adams, 81 in Albany, New York, it's 78 in Bennington, Vermont, 73 in Brattleboro, Vermont, it's 79 in Keene, New Hampshire, 77 in Jefferson, New Hampshire. 77 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 82 in National, New Hampshire, 81 in Concord, New Hampshire, 82 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Here, take a look at a map situation here around the region, around the country. Here, show the cold front from Nevada, switching on with a station right down to Idaho, and cold front from Yellowstone Valley down for Montana, and a warm front from Eastern Montana, switching on for South Dakota, warm front from South Dakota down for Iowa, down for Illinois, switching on for Kentucky, and a cold front from Eastern Kentucky, switching on Virginia, that to say. And a cold front from Southern Manitoba switching on Ontario and warm front down from Northeast Ontario and a cold front up in Northern Quebec. Pink front up in Northern Quebec here and a front of mine from Washington State down from Northern Idaho and Northern Montana. Front of mine from Western South Dakota down for the Rockies here and a front of mine from Southeastern Kansas down for Southwestern Missouri. And a front of mine from Southern Nevada down for Western Arizona and a front of mine from Central Utah down for Northeastern Arizona and a front of mine down for California coastline here. Low pressure in southeast Missouri, central Utah, western Arizona, and northeastern Wyoming, and then eastern Washington State. Well, we got high pressure in north central Arizona, and northern Mexico, northern New Mexico, and the Gulf states there. And western Pennsylvania here, we got 82 degrees of temperature right now. Boston is 83 out in New York City, it's 87 out in Washington, D.C., 78 in Pittsburgh, 90 in Atlanta, 84 in Miami, it's 79 in Brownsville, Texas, 95 in Dallas, Texas. A1 in Kansas City, A1 in Chicago, it is. A1 in Detroit, A5 in Omar, Nebraska, 69 in Minneapolis, St. Paul, 61 in Great Falls, Montana, 63 out in Seattle, 69 in San Francisco, 75 in Los Angeles, 100 degrees in Las Vegas, 104 in Phoenix, 88 in Albuquerque, 89 in Denver, it is 85 out in Salt Lake City, Utah. Here. Alright. Take a look at a radar scope beer. Nope, nothing brewing in the in the New England states except for a few showers around North Central Maine and up down for Quebec and down Northeastern Ontario. And a lot of rain showers, storms from eastern Nova Scotia, such as the southwestern tip of Prince Edward on the lines of rain showers, storms coming up much of the southeast United States and down for southern Texas and then down for northeastern Mexico. And a line of showers and a few sunstorms from central Minnesota, to the northern Wisconsin here. And up to the northeast of Minnesota, a line of rain showers and a few storms from western Ontario down through southern Manitoba, over Saskatchewan, and Alberta down through British coming up to the northern Idaho down through Montana and down through western parts of the North Dakota here. And a line of rain showers and southern Arizona and northern Mexico. Omega, Oklahoma, good evening. 95 degrees with clear skies here. Take a look at our satellite loop here and it shows. A line of clouds from the coastal southern coastlines of Cape Cod, of Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, searching down the Atlantic, take down to Virginia. A line of clouds from Florida, searching down to eastern Alabama, Georgia, down to the Carolinas, and up into Tennessee. And a line of clouds coming from much of Mexico, down to southern Texas, southern New Mexico, down to Arizona. And a line of clouds from the northern Great Lakes. And a line of clouds from Washington, searching up northern Idaho, down to Montana, up to North Dakota, and searching up to Ontario, down to southern Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta, down to British Columbia here. Line of clouds from eastern and western portions of Quebec here. And take a look. And Dolly is 
disappeared into a remnants of Dolly here at 30 miles per hour. And movement west by 8 miles per hour. Set location 21.7 off, 99.2 to the west. There. As it ran out of steam at 11 o'clock on Wednesday here, as there are no coastal watches, warnings would affect, and remnants should move farther inland over Mexico today. And map the same winds are near 30 miles per hour, 45 kilometers an hour with higher gusts. Mainly few squalls near the coast, and then that's made minimum central pressure is 1,005 millibars to 9.68 inches. And although the Dolly is no longer a tropical cyclone, its remnants are expected to produce a lot of rainfall, amounts of 3 to 6 inches, that's a maximum amount of 10 inches across much of Tamaulipas and Nuevo Leon, as well as Nueva Veracruz and eastern San Luis Potosi, Mexico, for Thursday. Storm total rainfall between 7 and 12 inches are expected with vocally higher amounts of around 20 inches. This additional rainfall is expected to cause life threatening and flash floods and mudslides in areas of mountainous terrain. Here, last public advisory issued by the Perk Grain Center on Dolly. While Dolly is a remnant, Norbert is a trouble storm with 70 mile mile wind gusts there. Movement west northwest about 7 miles per hour and central location 19.6 in the north, 109.2 to the west there. And it's going to become a hurricane from now to 2 p.m. tomorrow here. And our latest public advisory on top of Storm Norbert, it's going to be turned into the west northwest and expect to become a hurricane by tonight here. As the governor of Mexico has issued a tropical storm watch for the east coast of Baja California Peninsula from the north of La Paz, Mexico, to Santa Evaristo. Summary watch and water effect tropical storm warning is effect for La Paz, Santa Fe, Mexico, and tropical storm watch in effect for north of Santa Fe, north of the capital Saint Lazaro, Mexico, and north of La Paz, the Santa Evaristo. Tropical storm warning means that the tropical storm condition is expected somewhere within a warning area, in the case within 24 hours. A tropical storm warning means that the tropical storm conditions are expected somewhere within the warning area, in this case within 24 hours. A tropical storm watch means that tropical storm conditions are possible within a watch area during within 48 hours. And for storm information specific to your area, please monitor products issued by your local natural meteorological service. At 2 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 21 UTC, the center of tropical storm Nova was located in latitude 19.6 in the north, longitude 109.2 to the west. Nova is moving toward the west northwest near 7 miles by 11 kilometers an hour. Nova should turn toward the, the, the northwest this evening and continue on to that general motion for the next day or two. On a forecast track that is started over the expected approach to the southern tip by the Baja Cafe Peninsula on Thursday and move nearly parallel to the Pacific Coast on the peninsula on Friday. Max sustained winds are near 70 miles by 110 kilometers in the higher gusts and Norbert expected to become a hurricane this evening and continue to test by Fat Friday. Tops will force winds extend out with up to 90 miles by 150 kilometers from the center and that's made minimum central pressure is 99 millibars at 29 to 29 inches here. And when tropical storm conditions are expected within the watered area by Thursday after the tropical storm conditions are possible within this watch area by Friday the morning and rainfall, nobody expected to produce rainfall amounts of 3 to 5 inches on the southern part of the Baja California Peninsula on Friday. And surf large swells will affect portions of the southwestern coast of the Mexico on Thursday and produce dangerous surf conditions and rip currents. And large swells will gradually spread northward into the southern Gulf of California affect the southern portion of the Baja California Surf by Thursday. Okay, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Here there'll be a slight risk of severe thunderstorms over parts of the northern portions of the northern plains to parts of the upper Great Lakes and heavy rain possible over the parts of the upper Mississippi Valley and upper Great Lakes and heavy rain possible over the parts of the southeast upper level energy over the southeast central Gulf Coast along with moisture flow over the eastern Gulf Coast with the trigger showers and thunderstorms over the southeast southern Middle Atlantic states and the parts of the central southern Appalachians and the central Gulf Coast Fat Friday. A storm over the upper Midwest will move north eastward to the southeast of Canada by Thursday night of the Friday border. The moisture will pull along the associated threat where they aided the development of the shot of the storm activity over the northern plains eastward to the parts of the upper Great Lakes on Thursday night of the Thursday night in the Friday border. The shots of the storms over the upper Great Lakes will move to the Great Lakes today. The shots of the storms are developed along near the associated front over the central plains in the middle of Mississippi Valley. Additionally, upper level energy over the central southern Rockies will trigger shots of the storms over the parts of the Region late Thursday afternoon to the Thursday evening, the meanwhile moisture associated with tropical depression Dolly and flow off the western Gulf of Mexico will produce showers and thunderstorms over parts of the western Gulf Coast Fat Friday. In our forecast discussion for Red New England here, remain warm and dry into the Thursday. Turn on hot and muggy into the Friday. A cold front Saturday will bring some scattered showers and thunderstorms, and some of the rich may be severe. Long and wet, of locally every rainfall and showers may linger into the Sunday morning, turning seasonable and less humid into the early next week. 
Safe race is ruled in the day, evening hours at daytime eating concludes. Should see roughly full of terminate. As conditions turn mostly clear, high pressure light and variable winds become a mostly clear condition tonight. Effective radio cooling likely out. Long lows dropping in the low to mid 50s with those low cows. Susceptible rating down to the very well or cold air drainage dropping down in the upper 40s. More than expected a cold spot to the over the mid to upper Connecticut Valley, east southeast and during around the 495 Beltway and Martha's Vineyard. Northern dew points around the mid 50s at maximum heating earlier today. Forecast lows potential could drop several degrees below the crust over the threshold yield and patchy ground and fog, especially those areas which may have worse. So it's been that rains on Tuesday will be available with a patchy dense fog over those areas. Northern and above likely to drop to lows around the upper 40s here. And let's take a look. What an ounce here. Lovely conditions in the dew point category into the 50s here. A little sticky on Thursday and then becoming oppressive on Friday and Saturday in the dew point department in there. And tomorrow's highs will be 78, 87 degrees. Expect near 90 by Friday and Saturday. And high tide, Boston at 6.35 p.m. and Cape Cod 6.27 p.m. Sunset, 7.14 p.m. Air quality today, moderate at 55. And Algae Lord, Thursday, 8.5. Friday, 8.3 in the moderate high category. And UV index, 7 out of 12 in tanks. Lows we will be ranging from 71 in New York City to 64 for Boston, 59 for Hartford, 58 for Worcester, 57 for Albany, 54 for Concord, Hampshire, 57 in Portland, Maine, and 56 for Rutland, Maine. So we're going to divide the temperatures up here. We're going to see 50s for much of those. Central and Western Massachusetts up in the northern New England, up in the eastern New York. 60s is much of Eastern and Southern New England there, and around 70 degrees around New York City in the vicinity here. Okay, let's take a look at a view from the outside here. And it shows a sticking, it shows a pleasant day, a little humidity here, but a perfect, perfect, wonderful Wednesday at the Students of Norton High School, um, public schools around the Norton area, get back to the books for school. And let's take a look at our seven day forecast. It goes like this here. For today, we are gonna see some. Tonight, clear sky, low 54 degrees and northwest, wind about 3 to 8 miles per hour. Thursday, sun sky near 87 degrees and calm wind becoming southwest. 5 to 7 miles Friday in the afternoon. Thursday night, most of the coast got alone 59 degrees and southwest wind about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Friday, most of the sun's got in 87 degrees and southwest wind about 6 to 10 miles per hour with gusts of 20 miles per hour. Friday night, part of the coast got alone 69 degrees and south wind about 6 to 8 miles per hour. Saturday, chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly after 11 a.m. Part of the sun's got in 87 degrees and chance of precipitation 40%. Saturday night, showers likely and possibly a thunderstorm before 11 p.m. and chance of showers and thunderstorms between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. Then it changes shots after 1 a.m. and most cast got low in 62 degrees and shots perfection 6%. Sunday, Pots of Science got under 73 degrees. Sunday night, Pots of got low in 54 degrees. Monday, Science got under 75 degrees. Monday night, most of the got low in 54 degrees. Tuesday, Pots of Science got the most of the Science got under 74 degrees. Tuesday night, Pots of got low in 36 degrees. And for Wednesday, Pots of Science got under 73 degrees. Predators, what a phrase of the evening. A spectacular night on tap. That's the PGA with you for a good evening with a good positive all. We see you for the late down report at 11 o'clock or right after the sports roundup. Have a good evening all. See you 11. Have a good evening.